Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another grocery haul. I didn't do one last week, it was Easter. Um, I didn't do a big shop that week. I went to Georgia Joe's for a few things, which you guys will see that haul, but it wasn't a normal shop, so I decided not to post the video on Easter. But I am back, it is Thursday, April 8th. So you guys will be seeing this this upcoming Sunday. And I have quite a few things to get today. Um, we're out of so much stuff. We literally have pretzels in the snack drawer, which if you guys have seen my snack drawers, you know they get like really large. So there's lots of snacks in the snack drawer. There's none. We're out. We have like no cheese sticks, no yogurt. We don't have apples. We're out of bananas, strawberries, blueberries, not like literally everything we're out of right now. And my mom just left today. She's been here um, for the last week from New York. She got to spend Easter with us, which was really nice. So now I just got to stock back up, get all the healthy stuff again. Um, I haven't posted a weight loss journey or weight loss diary episode in a couple weeks now. I've not been paying attention to counting calories and all of that since my family's been in town. So it is what it is. I'm getting back on it this week. So here we are. I'm going to go shopping. I'm not doing a shop with me. It is insanely busy right now. So, but if you guys like shop with me, let me know. And I can try to like go shopping around the times. It's not as crazy busy and I can do those because they're kind of more work to do, but it is what it is. If you guys like those, let me know in the comments. But anywho, I'm going to hop into Aldi. And if you guys are new here, hello, my name is Katie. <laughs> I do grocery hauls just about every single Sunday, unless it's like a holiday or something. And I try to stay within $125 for the whole week for groceries. Um, this week, I probably will go over because we need diapers and wipes. So we'll see. I might just get them from here at Aldi. But anyway, come along. And when I get home, I'll show you guys everything that I got. All right, guys, I just got home. And I got a lot of stuff this time around. But we were out of a ton of stuff. Everything I got. I'll go down here. You know, Justin's kind of a spider. All right, I'm gonna start over here so I can put this milk away. I got two gallons of milk, and this is Aldi and Meyer put together. I spent 133 at Aldi, and I spent 62, I believe, at Meyer. But like I said, we had a ton of stuff we had to stock up on and get. Um, and noodles were on sale. Some things were on sale that I stocked up on. So there we go. Uh, I got some sour cream and onion chips, some white cheddar cheese popcorn tortilla chips and then some kettle chips we have no kind of snacky chips or anything like that or popcorn so I just grabbed that for the family I grabbed a thing of diapers and if you guys have never I if you guys have never bought the Aldi brand diapers I think they're pretty good and it's ten dollars for 60 diapers so pretty good price um, there's a box of cereal back there as well Justin already tapped into the pizza bites I'll go over here we got some eggs uh, cantaloupe, the little pizza bite things from Aldi, got some apple juice, and I actually think this ketchup tastes very, like, basically exactly the same as Heinz. It's like one of those things I don't usually buy off-brand, but this one is actually very good. And I'm trying a new coffee. This is the early bird. This is from Aldi, so we'll see how I like it. I'm sure we will. I got a rotisserie chicken because I'm hungry. It is 1.45 and I haven't eaten anything yet today. All I had to do, or all I had was to drink coffee this morning. And I've been up since seven o'clock. So I need to eat something. So I just grabbed that really quick so I can eat. I already said that. I'm gonna try this mild salsa. I figured I'd have this in chips and some chicken for lunch. So I grabbed that. I grabbed fresh mozzarella. When we made homemade, or when we make homemade pizzas, I prefer uh, fresh mozzarella like the ball because if you get the shredded it has the starch on it it just doesn't melt the same so I grabbed this we have everything for pizza already I grabbed some green peppers I grabbed a brick of Kobe Jack and this is just to cut up into little pieces Allie really loves cheese and I thought this is, would be a less expensive way I did actually buy string cheese as well but I came up with this idea after the fact <laughs> so I was just like hey I'll just grab these me and my husband will grab these on the go the string cheese so and don't mind my nails. They are super filthy. We've been gardening all week. Um, but yeah, I grabbed the Kobe Jack just to cut up for lunches and whatnot. Grabbed some hot dogs just to have in the fridge. 
sometimes we like to go old school and cut up hot dogs and put in mac and cheese for a quick lunch. So I grabbed those. I grabbed a coconut milk just in case I feel like making curry. I always have like simmer sauce and stuff in the pantry now. So I need to stock up on these, but these are pretty pricey. So I need to find a coconut milk that's maybe a little less expensive, but I just grabbed one for now. Grab some cinnamon rolls to have in the fridge just in case we want a little treat. Um, I did grab some paper plates. I usually never buy these, but let me show you something. Yeah, so many dishes. So just for this week to hopefully cut down on dishes. I know it's wasteful. I'm sorry, Planet, but I did grab these. And then I bought these in previous hauls. These are the low carb uh, carb counter tortillas. They're only 45 calories per one and they are so good. So if you guys are looking for a low carb tortilla, it's for uh, nut carbs. I highly recommend these. They have the wheat as well, except they're 50 calories and like five net carbs. And I actually think these are really good. So grab those. And then just for my husband and the kiddos, just grabbed a big thing of flour tortillas. We are having tacos this week. I grabbed an apple strawberry um, applesauce pouch, just one avocado. And then I grabbed two of these little squeezy things. I grabbed a thing of blueberries, some of these blueberry breakfast biscuits. These, if you guys have never had them, they're super good. There are the chocolate fudge brownies. Grab those. They didn't have them last time I was there. I grabbed some of these honey graham crackers, the little snack packs just for convenience wise when we need a snack on the go for the kids. I grabbed two of these peanut butter toast crackers. They're only 79 cents. Excuse me. They're only 79 cents. My kids love them, so I grabbed them. I grabbed some of these unsweetened applesauce pouches. We are just completely out of everything in the fridge snack drawer and the regular snack drawer, so I'm stocking up. And then yes, I know these are more expensive than getting the applesauce, like the thing of applesauce but right now Allie's in that age where she can do these little squeezy pouches on her own and they're easy so for now we're getting those and then I grabbed her a few of these like convenience type pouches as well and then I also got a couple of boxes of these mood tubes we're almost completely out of yogurt in the fridge I got the watermelon and cherry kind which is by like the specialty stuff by the meats and then I got the, this is the normal cotton candy and melon berry kind. So I grabbed those for the kiddos. Back there, I got some bananas and some clementines. I bought clementines and blueberries from Trader Joe's last week, and they were not good. So pretty disappointed in that, but um, picked some up again this week. I grabbed some honey graham crackers. We're out of, like I said, completely out of snacks in the snack drawer. There's now, there's the only thing in the snack drawer is a bag of pretzels right now. Um, I grabbed, stocked up on these. If you guys have seen any of my hauls, I buy these every single week. <laughs> uh, I got the blueberry, the strawberry, and the cherry this time. This one I got from Myers, just the strawberry fruit spread. And then I got this from uh, Aldi. It's like a dollar. And then back here, I got some pork loin play. I put this in the crock pot for like two to four hours on the wall. I can't remember how long it, it doesn't take that long, but I actually cooked it in the uh, oven last time. And I thought it was much better in the oven than the crock pot, but the crock pot's so easy. So also a very good choice. <laughs> we have no sort of breakfast meats or anything like that. We haven't for a while. So I went ahead and grabbed just this pork sausage, just in case we want to make some breakfast burritos. And I really like this turkey bacon. We've got it a couple times now from Aldi and it's really good. We do like chicken bacon ranch wraps. We can use this for breakfast burritos, you know, whatever. Then under here, I got some 80-20 beef. We're gonna use half of that for tacos and then probably just freeze the other half. And then at Meyer, they had their sweet potatoes on sale for uh, 25 cents a pound. So I just grabbed four of them. The sweet potatoes at Aldi were like super tiny and not very good looking. So I waited and grabbed those at Meyer. And then this week at Aldi, they have these chicken thighs on sale. So I just grabbed them. We don't really need them for anything, but I figured we could just have them in the freezer. And then we we're almost completely out of flour. So I grabbed that at Meyer, or I'm sorry, Aldi. And then here's the other box of this Kitsch Crunch. It's basically Captain Crunch, just way less expensive. And then I grabbed these Frosted Flakes 
to have in the pantry as well because we're just about completely out of cereal. Okay. And then at Meyer, all of their pastas were like 80 cents. So I kind of stocked up a little bit. We don't really need all of this, but spaghetti, Finley has been really loving spaghetti meatballs. So I just went ahead and grabbed a ton of noodles. Also, there were pasta sauces on sale, but we have a couple already in the pantry, so I didn't want to go too crazy there. But I grabbed two spaghetti, and then on the Meyer app, I had a 50% off one thing of Oreos. It had to be between 8 and 20 ounces, so I just grabbed this one. I don't think, I think the family pack was too big. So I grabbed that, and just if you're interested in these kind of noodles, I got these kind. I got the medium shells, rotini, farfalli, rigatoni. So we have a large variety of noodles. And then I, like usual every week, I grab a thing of waffles and then these French toast sticks were on sale and Allie actually really likes these. So I just grabbed one of those. And then last week I grabbed the uh, little pack of the blueberry muffins and the kids really liked them and they're only a dollar. So I went ahead and just grabbed one for this week as well. For a little treat, I grabbed a thing of the chewy fudge brownies. And then my mom had come into town and she brought Triscuits with her and they just sounded really good. So I went ahead and grabbed the Meyer brand of those. Aldi was completely out of strawberries. They had none at all. Even organic they didn't have. So lucky for me, Meyer had strawberries on sale two for four. So I grabbed those. Don't mind the disgusting stove. Over here, I grabbed this creamer. I grabbed, this was the first non-dairy creamer I bought and I had a dollar off coupon. So grab that again. Grabbed some garlic powder and just some minced garlic. We're completely out of minced garlic in the fridge. So grabbed another one of those. And then I saw that these were on sale. So I grabbed some of these, the cream cheese and onion. Allie hasn't had these little uh, yogurt pouches in weeks. And I saw them and I was like, you know what, I'm going to grab them. So I grabbed these. And then once I checked out, I actually got a $2 off coupon for the next time. So that's a win. I grabbed another three pack of wipes from Aldi. I grabbed some cat litter from Meyer. Uh, goldfish on sale, three for four dollars. So I grabbed just the regular cheddar and then the little princess ones. I've never had their like pre-done garlic bread before, but Finley loves garlic bread, especially like if we do pizza takeout, like he always requests the bread. <laughs> so I grabbed one of these to kind of see if he likes it, and I know it's, I could do this myself, but for the ease of spaghetti night, we're going with it. And then I grabbed some English muffins for breakfast sandwiches, and then I grabbed a wheat bread and a white bread. We are completely out of bread. Let me show you guys. <laughs> so normally this cupboard is full of potatoes, onions, and I put like my English muffins there. We literally have one tortilla shell left. No bread, bagels, no anything. So. We were really low this week, so I had to get a ton more stuff than usual. That's why I went so over budget, but last week I only spent like $80 at um, Trader Joe's and some of it wasn't even mine, and then I bought like $10 worth of flowers, so it all evens out in the end with my budget, but anyway, last thing, I got these dahlias. Me and my mom did a ton of gardening this week, and I actually planted some dahlias and some uh, peonies and some blue hydrangea and I'll show you guys I'll do a video on like our gardening my husband is actually building me a fence around the garden if you can see back there <laughs> but we we're working on this so this is going to be like my cut flower garden right here and then we're gonna have the massive garden it's literally like three times the size as it was last year if you guys remember any of my gardening videos but I saw these and they were only $5.99 and these are perennials, so they'll keep coming back. And there's two bulbs. And at Home Depot, where I bought, we bought rose bushes, blueberry bushes. We got so much stuff this week. But I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, how pretty are they? So I'm really excited. The peony we got are super pretty as well. So like I said, I'll make a video on that. But anyway, this is everything we got this week. Okay, guys, so when I'm done with the haul here, now that I'm done with the haul, I'm going to show you all the dinners we're going to be doing for the week. I'm like, I'm like crazy. <laughs> um, we're going to be doing beef tips. We didn't do, so I planned a bunch of dinners. Oh my gosh, there's a spider running right now really fast, Justin. It's running. <laughs> okay, the spider has been exterminated. So I planned a bunch of meals and then my mom came into town kind of last minute. So we didn't end up making like any dinner. We ate out. 
just about every single night. <laughs> so, and, and then it was also Easter. So that was another night we didn't cook. I don't think I cooked dinner once since last Thursday. So yeah, we got some stuff we got to use up that was on the meal plan last week. So we're gonna be doing some beef tips. Um, I found a recipe on Pinterest. So I wanna make those. We're gonna be probably grilling chicken. We have to get some propane for our grill. It's been really nice out. Um, we're gonna be doing some grilled cheese and tomato soup. We're gonna be doing tacos, spaghetti night. And then tonight we're doing teriyaki chicken. And let me show you guys the uh, teriyaki sauce we used. We found this at Costco and we used about half of it last time. And what my husband did, he cut up the pieces of chicken and then marinated it. And then we cooked it in the wok and it was the best teriyaki chicken we think we've ever had. It was really, really good. So if you guys see this at your Costco, definitely recommend purchasing it. So that's what we're doing for dinner tonight. And if you guys wanna see a what's for dinner, let me know. I can probably start doing those again. <laughs> But anyway, that is everything we're gonna be having for this week. We're keeping it really simple because I knew that we had to stock up on so many things and it was gonna be pricier than usual this week. So yeah, we're keeping dinners extra simple and then next week maybe I'll add in some more festive <laughs> dinners. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's haul. And if it's not already posted, I'll post the Trader Joe's haul probably next week. If not, you'll see it before this, who knows. It's just been a really chill week. My mom's been here. Like I said, I didn't post my video Sunday because it was Easter. So anyway, it'll come. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.